This Sunday's Gospel presents us with the figure of John the Baptist preaching a baptism of conversion. He then calls us to immerse ourselves in conversion, in change. The term conversion is often misunderstood. It is thought to be only about a change with respect to the way we do things. In reality, it speaks to us about a change of mindset, a change in our being. So to discover the ways of the Lord as John invites us means to make a real U-turn. And this was the experience of the Magi, who sought the King of Kings, but closed in their mindset they seek him in Herod's palaces, they seek him in the midst of wealth. They will discover instead that the Redeemer, the King of the world, is instead found in the humility of a home, in his mother's arms. The Magi arriving in Bethlehem become true pilgrims, because to become pilgrims means to leave one's world, it means to make oneself a stranger to the earth. Thus the Magi discover that God also becomes a stranger, has made himself a stranger to heaven to come and be a guest and pilgrim among us. From this experience, the Magi will experience their conversion. In fact, the Gospel tells us that by another road they returned. They experience this U-turn. They discover which is the true way of the Lord, a way of mercy for the forgiveness of sins, the way of the Lord who comes, comes to visit us, who comes among us every day to live as a stranger among men. My trip started in the Vatican in June. Then I went to the French Basque country. From there I went to Lourdes, came back to Madrid, and since there was a heat wave I went to Stockholm, Sweden. I returned to Madrid and from there I came to the Shrine of Fatima. In the Shrine of Fatima I thought what was more right to do, go to Santiago, to Jerusalem. At that time, I decided to come to Jerusalem. From now on, God will arrange everything for me. Because as a priest used to say, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. And I don't know where providence will take me. I don't feel like a wise man. I feel like a shepherd who worships God all night because sometimes I stay up all night worshipping. I feel like a shepherd who, having heard the announcement, like the wise men, goes to worship Christ. Christ.